We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 5 In 1922, a man's pride was a man's land. And so was his son. My wife. She wanted us to leave all this behind. We can move. The cities are for fools. We divorce. We both know that's what you want. Life is rarely fair, especially out here. And I believe that there's another man inside every man. A conniving man. I'm gonna sell. You and my son are coming with me. This is our house. In 1922, I murdered my wife. Want a glass of lemonade, Sheriff? Can I look in the house? She only took the one suitcase. Woman would have to be crazy to leave a nice house like this one. Number four. I have just created something totally illogical. That's what I like about. If you build it, he will come. If you build it, he will come. If you build what, who will come? Insane. I hate it when that happens. Me too. Who's your invoices? Ray is. <laughs> I think I know what if you build it, he will come means. Ooh, why do I not think this is such a good thing? Daddy, there's a man up there on your lawn. Are you a ghost? What do you think? You look real to me. Hi. You couldn't see it. This is really interesting. You believed in the magic. It happened. Isn't that enough? Annie, it's more than that. I feel it as strongly as I've ever felt anything in my life. There's a reason. Go the distance. Did you hear the voice, too? Did you hear it? Go the distance. Yes. Our grave is dead. He died in 1972. Are you Moonlight Graham? No one's called me Moonlight Graham in 50 years. Unbelievable. It's more than that. It's perfect. You build a baseball field in the middle of nowhere, and you sit here and you stare at nothing. This field, this game, it's a part of our past, Ray. It reminds us of all that once was good. Hey, is this heaven? No. It's Iowa. Kevin Costner, Amy Madigan, James Earl Jones, Ray Liotta, Burt Lancaster. Sometimes, when you believe the impossible, the incredible comes true. Field of Dreams. Number three. Come on. That's it.
Do they call thee Georgie or something? Georgie. Whatever, get in. <sighs> I'll lab needs help. I could have managed. I've done so far. Yeah, of course you have. We're not running a charity for ways to stay like. It's perfect for me. It's beautiful here, but lonely, you know? Beautiful. Just so you're clear, he's here to work. <laughs> so I'm on your shoulders now. What do you want? I want it to be different. The way I want to do it. Number two. In 1916, America was changing. I need soccer! Expanding. Holding a promise of new prosperity. People heard the call, and it made them restless. Empires were being built in the wide open spaces. And so they came. Each one boldly, blindly searching for the days of heaven. of heaven, the story of a man who had nothing. The woman who loved him. You're crazy. <laughs> and the man who would give her everything for a share of that love. You know what I thought when I first saw you? I thought if only I could touch her, that everything would be all right. Three people whose destinies joined briefly in a dream. But how long could it last? The days of heaven. Number one. Sweeping across the country comes one of the great literary achievements of our time. A human, revealing, soul-stirring story that instantly becomes the most discussed novel of modern literature, The Grapes of Wrath. The Grapes of Wrath, please. I'll have to put you on the waiting list. We've never had such a demand for a book. Do you have a copy of Grapes of Wrath? Sorry, we're all sold out. Yes, The Grapes of Wrath. Well, send me as many copies as you can. I can't supply the demand. The Grapes of Wrath. 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 As sales skyrocket, the Grapes of Wrath becomes the book of the nation. Everyone, everywhere, joins in the discussion of its vital problem. Due to this unprecedented popularity, producers vie for the motion picture rights. And finally, 20th Century Fox announces the purchase of the book and plans for its immediate production. A storm of discussion arouses the nation. Speculation and rumor are rife to the effect that no producer will venture to film this great dramatic masterpiece of human hearts. Daryl F. Zanuck, production head of 20th Century Fox Studios, emphatically announces that the Grapes of Wrath will be made. All of the resources of this vast studio are marshaled for the production. John Ford, Academy Award winner, is given the directorial assignment. The cast is carefully chosen to make John Steinbeck's unforgettable characters come to life. Tom Joad is played by Henry Fonda. Maude Joad is played by Jane Darwell. 
Casey is played by John Carradine. Grandpa is played by Charlie Grapewin. Rosa Sharon is played by Doris Bowden. Paul Jode is played by Russell Simpson. Al is played by O.Z. Whitehead. Muley is played by John Quaylen. Connie is played by Eddie Quillen. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. And for more top five movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.